Well, obviously, it's not a, a good day for either the Home Office or the Metropolitan Police. It is true to say that uh, over 150 illegal immigrants who have been tried and convicted of various serious crimes, such as rape, murder and paedophilia, have been released into the community and we have no idea of their whereabouts. <laughs> On a lighter note, we did arrest Pete Doherty last night. <laughs> I think the organisers have done a brilliant job tonight, uh, yeah, getting so yeah. many people from yeah. all sides of the yeah, business yeah. to attend. Yeah, yeah. I think it's important yeah. for the purchasers yeah. and suppliers yeah. to yeah. meet face to face yeah. so yeah. they yeah. can make yeah. the personal yeah. bond. Yeah. 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 Unless, of course, your father or husband is important, in which case I would be prepared to patronise you for a few minutes for the sake of your important connections. Right. Well, I'm not married and my father's unimportant. Well, there you are, you see. You're a very attractive waste of time. <laughs> oh, unless, of course, you want to sleep with me. I am a very important man, so it would be a huge honour for you. Yeah, if you'd let me finish, I am head of Goldschmidt Kleinson's Futures Division. You? Yes. How can you possibly be? You're a very attractive young lady. I got a double first at Cambridge three years ago, joined the company then and worked my way up within two years. Oh, God. I'm afraid very intelligent women repulse and frighten me. <laughs> I withdraw my offer of sex and she'll scuttle away in horror. Ugh. <laughs> Hi. My name's Puck. I'm from South Africa. I've been over here for a couple of years, huh? So I really like it here. It's a great place. I'll tell you something. I used to play a lot of rugby in South Africa, but apart from having to have my face rebuilt and a few extra bolts put in my body, I don't think it's done me any lasting damage, you know? <laughs> you know what, man? I'm really sexually frustrated at the moment. I really need to make love to a girl. And I'm really quick. I can do it in the head break in Big Brother. So you keep your eyes open, yeah? Oh, thanks, man. Excellent beanery. Well, I've got the greatest guitarist in the world that looks like a goat. <laughs> and if it's not the greatest singer in the world that looks like Dougal from the magic roundabout with great big wraparound seeds on. <laughs> nice to see you, mate. You too. Are a great band. That is absolutely hysterical, that. So what's for us teas, then? When, surprise, surprise, it's beans on toast. Yum. Oh. Who in the name of love is that? <laughs> Hello, Bob Geldof, you big lovable old flea bag. <laughs> oh, your peculiar daughter, Peaches. Oh, good. Oh, that's grand. Oh, right, we better meet then. Oh, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, bloody <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> All right, I'll see you then. He always wants to meet on a Sunday. Tell me why. He don't like Monday. <laughs> Anyway, grand news. Guess what? What? You know how Bob and I have made poverty history. <laughs> made homelessness history. <laughs> well, now we've made turnips history. <laughs> what have you got against turnips, Bono? Sure, a little fella like yourselves had his turned up before now. No, turnips, you turnip. <laughs> The despicable little vegetable. Ah, right. Well, well done, cos they're a disgusting little thing, aren't they? You're awful good at making things history, aren't you, Bono? Sure that I am. Look at all the things I made history. <laughs> That's poverty history, homelessness history, turnips history. We made the First World War history. <laughs> the Second World War history. The defenestration of Prague of 1618 history. <laughs> we made Robbie Williams' career history. <laughs> and we've made natural history.
That's incredible, Bono. What have you got in your other arm? Ah, that's my to-do list. <laughs> Iraq, Afghanistan, <laughs> global warming. <laughs> and pick up the dry cleaning from Sketchly. <laughs> No, the Edge, the Edge, the Edge. With your funny little surname, Edge. And your even more peculiar Christian name, The. <laughs> what is it, Bono? Bono, with your funny little name, which backwards is O Knob. <laughs> What have you under your mysterious little hat today? Well, why don't you take a peek? <laughs> oh, well, you can't go wrong with him now, can you? <laughs> Isn't he lovely? Morning. How are you today? Oh, all the better for seeing your beautiful faces. Oh, thank you. Oh, you girls certainly are a sight for sore eyes on a day like this. Thank you. Say on Povijal? Movie she just me about me. Oh, thank you. Uh, a cappuccino, please. A large or small? Large, please. Those are cappuccinos. Mm. <clears throat> One sixty, please. Of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Day. <laughs> Fine. I, I left my paper here on the counter. Excuse me? I, I left my paper on the counter when I was in here a minute ago. You came in here before? Yeah, a minute ago. Have you ever cooked a dish? No. No, it's not. Well, I left my paper. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> so, if the Bank of England raises interest rates, there's a very real danger that the economy could go into recession. Yet, if they lower them, they risk encouraging the housing market to overheat, and we know where that leads, don't we, Kev? Indeed we do, Dallin. Who would be governor of the Bank of England? Well, I personally believe it should be someone like Evan Davis from the BBC. What a marvellous idea. He really is the best economic correspondent since darling little Dominic Herod. Isn't he? Oh, I must stop you there. There's a young lady attempting to park her car. Oi, love! You got a nice, tight little slot, and not you? <laughs> You Joe! Left hand down, right hand down, left hand down, right hand down, Well, hats off to her. She proved me wrong. Indeed she did, Darren. Despite our witless barrage of sexually aggressive abuse, the young lady has parked to perfection. You were saying about Evan Davis. Ah, yes, well, I do believe that the BBC's economic coverage has improved immeasurably under impish little Evan. <laughs> Evan Davis. For Governor of the Bank of England. Evan Davis. For Governor of the Bank of England. Evan Davis. For Governor of the Bank of England. Evan Davis. For Governor of the Bank of England. <laughs> Jose Arrogantio, you didn't look too happy at the sending off of Didier Peskovic in the second half. Mm, you know, I think when we see footage, uh, it's a very small incident, it's blow out of all proportion. I think maybe the referee is a testicle in the eye. I don't think that Didier is real harm, I think it was a friendly stab. 
Uh, the referees make my decision. It was overreaction by other player. He loses a testicle. Yes, it's not the end of the world. Uh, referee is a tit. But uh, sometimes we have to live with many tits in life. Care for a beer, Madonna, my darling, my dear? Oh, yeah. I'd love a fucking beer. So, Guy Ritchie, what are your plans for this afternoon, my fucking darling? Well, I thought I might take a stroll around the estate. Well, I was thinking of a plot for my new gangster movie, don't you know, don't you know? A oh, fuck's sake. Oh, splendid. I myself intend to go for a fucking ride. On an horse. Of course, on an horse, stupid. Are you taking liberties? <laughs> <laughs> So, as you know, our hedge fund has outperformed the market by 40% in the last two years. So, what do you think that your financial expertise would bring to the team? Should we offer you this position? I have absolutely no financial experience whatsoever, I'm afraid. But I am a chocolatier. Hmm. <laughs> Now I have them. Hi. Hi. Are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, yeah. We've just bought a country cottage for weekends. Uh, it's more like a hovel, really. It's really humble. Right. So you're looking for something humble but ridiculously expensive? Yeah. Mm. Well, this table's in very poor condition. Oh, it's amazing. This is really authentic. Yeah, this is actually a completely authentic piece of shit. Uh-huh. Where did you find it? In my parents' garage. Oh, gosh, how interesting. How yeah. much is it? Uh, well, uh, as I say, my parents threw it out. Uh, but I'm afraid I saw you coming. Yes, you did, didn't you? What does your husband do? Oh, he works in hedge funds. Oh, right. Yeah, he funds hedges or something. <laughs> It's £2,000. OK, fine. Thanks very much. Oh, I adore that lamp. Right, uh, that lamp is actually eco-friendly. Really? I'm really into eco. I thought you probably would be. <laughs> the bulb actually um, produces more electricity than it uses. Gosh, I don't really understand the electricity. I thought you probably wouldn't. <laughs> but that sounds amazing. How much is it? It's £500. Crikey, that's a bit steep, even for me. Well, uh, five pounds of it actually goes to Greenpeace. Oh, right, so it's all in a good cause. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> actually, aren't Greenpeace the ones who want to stop us using our 4 by 4s for the school run? Uh, no, it goes to the Greenpeace 4 by 4 Owners Club. Oh, right, that's OK. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Great, so that's £2,500. Golly, you really did see me coming, didn't you? Yeah, I most certainly did, yeah. <laughs> So I need cards so I can make notes for our vacation blog. Hello, how are you today? Hello, how are you? Oh, what a great day, huh? Hello, hello. Uh, hello and I need uh, scotch tape for my bifocals. I, I think they call it cello tape. So cello tape, all right, cello tape, cello tape. Where's the cello tape? <laughs> oh, see, can you see the cello tape? Oh, it's right in front of my nose. <laughs> oh, peekaboo. <laughs> what have we gotten in here? Who's hiding in there with the pretty eyes? I bet it's not just your eyes that are pretty, am I right? Oh, Ron, you're frightening her. <laughs> oh, I'm just a nuisance. <laughs> What's your name, honey? Amina. Amina, what a pretty name for a very pretty pair of eyes. I'm Ronald, this is Pammy, mm -hmm. and we are from Badiddly Boing on a White House. Operation 9. Hey, Amina, honey, would you mind if I got a picture of you with Ronald? Sure you wouldn't, oh, would you, honey? We are. Wait a All minute. righty. Okay, smile. Amina, honey, are, are you smiling? 
I guess you are. Okay. Ha! Aren't we a handsome couple? Oh, you can have them. <laughs> Say, Amina, honey, you know, I sure could use one of these things first thing in the morning. I look a fright. Oh, don't listen to Pammy, Amina. She looks as good in a birthday suit today as the day I married her. Oh, Ron. Almost. <laughs> Say, Amina, last fall we vacationed in Egypt, and we made a whole bunch of friends who look just like you. Would you like to see their pictures? I'm sure she would. Sure you would. Okay, now this is Aisha. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Afifa. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Parhuan. What a guy. This is Patina. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Farida. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Hassan. What a guy. This is Jamila. Isn't she probably pretty? This is Jamila. Isn't she probably this pretty? Is what a guy. This is Isn't she probably pretty? This is Isn't she probably pretty? This is Salman. What a guy. Say, Amir, it's been a pleasure meeting you. It sure has. And if you are ever in Badiddly Boy, Oda, Idaho, you be sure come see us, okay? Oh, That's you us. must come stay, Amir. Honey, would they let you into our country? Ah, sure they would, honey. I tell you something, I'd like to be the immigration guy who has to frisk you. <laughs> Let's get you out of oh, here. Oh, she's not scared of me. I'm decomposing. Oh, oh, oh. Bye, Nina. Nice meeting you. Nelson Mandela. Do you like to dance to house music all night long? And do you like to remain immune to fatigue during the early hours of the morning? This is a now possible with the help of my ecstasy tablets. <laughs> you can purchase my ecstasy tablets on the World Wide Web by visiting MandelaPartyAnimal.co.sa. Nelson Mandela's extra set of plates. Let us get munted. <laughs> okay. Ashley, clean up that mess. It's making me feel sick. Well, oh. <laughs> nice do, babe. It's really nice do, right? Because when you said we was having a baby shower, I'm like, you know? But then I thought maybe it's something to do with your water's breaking. Don't be disgusted, Ashley. Sorry, babe. Wash your hands. Lovely <laughs> bunch of girls, though. <laughs> Did you see what Gemma bought me? Uh, it was baby clothes, wasn't it? Not being funny, but look at them. Well, they're nice, babe. They're baby cat, when they? Look, they've got a nice little teddy on them. I ain't having them. Why not? They ain't new. What do you mean, they ain't new? They're still in the packet. No, she bought them two weeks ago. They've been sitting in her house for two weeks. <laughs> to me, they're second hand. They might as well come from a Romanian orphanage. <laughs> End of the day, they ain't new. And my baby ain't having nothing from no one that ain't new. Oh, that'd be me dad. Yeah, that'd be your dad. Hands, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ashley. <laughs> Ramsey the car, get it, son. Hello, my angel, my darling, my princess. I only got you a brand new pram, haven't I? <gasps> bugaboo? Is it a bugaboo? I'm only having it if it's a bugaboo. If it ain't a bugaboo, I ain't having it. Of course it's a bugaboo. Six hundred pounds worth of brand new bleeding bugaboo. Oh, thank you, Dad. Bugaboo! <gasps> get it away from me! What's that, Shell? It's a bugaboo. Has only got you a bugaboo? Yeah, I got you a bugaboo. Look, at the wheels, they're all dirty. What are you talking about? I've only just wheeled it in from the car. <gasps> wheeled it? You should have carried it in, you numpty. I have it. It is caked in muck. If I push that around, people are going to think I'm an asylum seeker. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out of here. It's covered in meningitis. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you should. You want me to lose this baby, don't you? You do. You want me to lose this baby. Of course I don't want you to lose the baby, babe. <laughs> Don't worry, Princess, I'll sort it. <laughs> that baby, that's right, and that's gone. It's too late now, Ashley. You wheeled that thing in here and covered our floor in bacterial microbes and, and vermin and dust mice. Dust mice? <laughs> yes, Ashley, dust mice. <laughs> Yes, Ashley, dust not. <laughs> you have infected our baby's beautiful home with micro muck. We are going to have to move house because of you, Ashley. Don't you worry, my princess. I shall destroy this house brick by brick and build you a brand new germ free living environment. Oh, thank you, Dad. End of the day, you're the best dad in the world, Dad. End of. My princess, my <laughs> angel, my darling. And, and Ashley! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Abramovich? Mr. Abramovich? Yes? I've confirmed your trip to the United States and dinner at the White House tomorrow night. What is this White House? I've heard of this. Well, it's, um, it's, it's where the, where the president lives. There we are. Nice. I buy it. <laughs> well, no, I, I think that the president needs it. It's, it's where he runs the country from. Yes, I buy it. I rent back to him. Very good price. All utilities include. OK, well, I'll, I'll just... Call Foxton's. Call Foxton's. <laughs> I am oil magnate. I am billionaire. I am oil magnate. Stroke my hair. <laughs> Stroke it. Very nice, yes. Surprisingly silky. Good. Here. Buy yourself ludicrous diamond. Th uh, thank you. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you, I had such a good time last night, man. I went out with some guys to a pub and then we went to a club, right? And we had a few beers and then a few more beers, yeah? And then someone gave me this bottle of blue stuff. I don't know what it was, man. It was tasted a bit like sick. But I drank the whole thing, right? And then I don't remember anything after that. I wake up this morning in my own bed, right? But my ass really hurt. And I go there, someone has stuck a carrot up my nort. <laughs> oh, it was so funny, man. And then I get a text, right? And my friend Hannes, he sent me this picture. I'm not going to show you, man. I'm too embarrassed. I'm lying in a pool of sick, and I've got the carrot up my nort, and they have painted two eyes on my ass so it looks like a face. Oh, oh it was such a brilliant night. You would have loved it, man. <laughs> I'm going to auction the carrot for charity. And in conclusion, Your Honour, this man is an habitual parking offender who has never made any effort to pay his fines, and it is this court's duty to seize his motor vehicle and... <laughs> Case dismissed. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for them. <laughs> so, you should by now be feeling a slight sensation of drowsiness, but you will be able to see what we're doing on that screen over there. Does that make sense, or am I talking gibberish? No, that's fine. Hmm. Ah, Charles, a very good Charles. Come here, come take a look at this. This is Sir Charles Curtis. Hello. Don't worry, he's not a butcher. <laughs> <laughs> now, a colonoscopy is rather invasive, I'm afraid. Yes, you may feel a trifle discombobulated. Yes, there is a slight chance of discombobulation, so if you feel like clobbering me, do yell out. Now, here we go, and whoops, and yes, there we are, we're in. Now, Charles, take a look at that. Oh, what a wonderful large intestine. Yes, does it remind you of anyone? Oh, uh, Prince Charles? No, but I see where you're coming from. General Pinochet? No, you're cutting at straws now, Charles. Come along, one more chance. Oh, I know. David Hare. Absolutely spot on, one guinea. Did you know Penelope Wilton was in the latest Hare at the National? Oh, Penelope Wilton, what a wonderful liver. Now, there's a lady with no MTF1 gene. <laughs> <laughs> now, come along, Charles. That's enough high drinks. What do you make of it? 
Benign, benign, benign. Hello, who's she? Histology? Think so, don't you? Hmm. Benign, benign, benign. Hello, who's she? Histology? Think so, don't you? Hmm. She looks very interesting. Hmm. Now, I was stalking with the DV this weekend. Yes. And your new rifle, William Evans. Turkish walnut. Oh, beautiful gun, heavily boat action. And are you going to Oslo for the conference? Yes. And does it coincide with the boat show? Yes. You sly old rascal. You've still got your eye on that Sunseeker Predator? Yes. Sorry, am I going to be all right? Are you going to get the results? Oh, yes, we've finished with you. We've scraped you all out and sent it off to the lab for analysis. And I should be getting the results of my Blackberry any moment now. Yes, here we are. All clear, all clear, and all clear. Oh, jolly well done, you. And Chelsea are one nil up, if that's of any interest to you whatsoever. <laughs> Drogba, the 34th minute, with a cheeky little back heel at the near post. Now, do try and lay off the grog at least for a couple of weeks. Yes, try to restrict yourself to a nightly bottle of good claret, a 1971 Chateau Claude Destiny or something like that. Yes, excellent choice, Charles. Now, very important question. Have you got time for a quick brandy before the botulism conference? Well, I think so. Hmm. And one of the porters let slip to me that you beat Sir David Money Coots at backgammon yesterday. Yes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Frightful show off. And he wasn't too pleased. Uh, during the arrest of Mr. Doherty, I have to say it was my great good fortune to encounter Miss Moss. <laughs> Despite the endless fags, the constant alcohol, the non-stop round of partying, she remains a beacon of natural beauty in an otherwise squalid world. And I would most certainly like to give her one. <laughs> well, there's your chance, our old man's in the nick. Jose Arrogantio, you didn't look too happy to see another red card for Didier Peskovic today. No, I was not, uh, not very happy, but um, tonight I will have Chinese meal with my wife and I will be very happy. Um, <laughs> I always make a very bad decision. He is a tit. <laughs> I think it was a very unfortunate incident. I think striker was looking to go down. <laughs> Didier was a, a little bit unlucky and the referee has make a very bad decision. At this level, you have to play to all the weapons at your disposal. I think um, maybe the referee was not watching the game, he was playing with the penis. <laughs> but this is Premiership, it's the best league in the world, and uh, you expect many people to play with penis. to say the same, but Patsy Kensett spends Friday night with Jonathan Ross at 10.35 here on BBC One, while QI comes from the other side. No, not the toilet. Stephen Fry dices with death over on BBC Two now.